Namaskar. You might be wondering why I am sitting in front of a closed veena. Well, today's video is going to be about making this beautiful cover for this precious instrument and its very delicate fretboard. Delicate it is because it's made of wax and wax is prone to damage because of weather conditions, bad usage and also the place where it is stored. So last year when I made this video on the maintenance of the Saraswati Veena, I had quite a few queries asking me about alternatives to dupattas, bed sheets, saris and pieces of cloth to cover the fretboard. I thought about it and came up with this idea. Well, I am not very good at stitching, so I tossed the idea with a few of my students and Rashmi, who is a quiltist, jumped at the idea with total excitement. She has a good eye to details and her work is extremely neat and perfect. We have done plenty of redos and she has been very patient all through. Let's go into the project. The materials that I am using here today is uh, velvet, which will be the topmost uh, layer. Uh, I like to use velvet because it gives that rich look and it's also with a backing quite thick enough to protect the uh, fretboard. So that will be my top layer. And the in-between layer is that white cloth that you see, which is a fusing lace. It is also called a backing material or an interfacer. And it's quite freely available in any of these shops which uh, sell tailoring materials. The last one, which is the third layer, uh, the layer that will go on the inside, that red cloth that you see, is the cotton. It's a cotton cloth. So cut three pieces, one of velvet, one of the interfacing uh, lace and the third is the cotton cloth to a length of 46 inches and a width of 9 inches. The next step is to fuse the backing material onto the velvet. So the nature of the fusing material is such that one side of it is sticky. So put the sticky side onto the back side of the velvet and neatly iron it so that no folds come onto the velvet. The velvet should be neatly stretched and ironed with the fusing material. So it is at this stage that if any of you would like to embroider the velvet, make some designs on it, stitch some designs, cross stitches or something onto the velvet, you can do at this point in time. So this is the last, uh, the final piece, the, the cloth that is going to come on the inside of the fretboard uh, cover, the red cloth. A tiny, when you cut the cloth, tiny threads will be hanging around the corners. So just stitch it all neatly on all four sides. And now it is ready to be fused onto the other two layers. So the last important piece of this fretboard cover are the ribbons that have to be tied on each side of the main cover. So we need about eight of them, each measuring six to seven inches. But what you can do is you can cut long strips neatly stitch them on the edges and then from that you can cut about six to seven inches of ribbons you know you don't have to initially cut six to seven inches and then stitch them on the corners just cut about 46 inches 50 inches long strips neatly stitch their edges and they are ready to be cut into small pieces of seven inches now you have to stitch these ribbons onto the red cloth keep them as pairs at a distance of 2, 8, 20 and 28 inches and stitch it onto the red cloth. Take care to see that the ribbons are not very much inside the cloth. They should be around along the edges. Once the ribbons are stitched onto the red cloth, now we realize now that we have two distinct pieces of uh, stitched cloth. One the red cloth with the ribbons stitched onto it. The other one is the velvet with the fusing material fused onto it. So now the, the side which has the fusing material is the wrong side and the side which has the ribbon stitched onto the red cloth is again the wrong side. So keep both the wrong sides facing each other and stitch on all the four corners, two lengthwise and two breadthwise. So you get a final single piece which will be a beautiful color. The back side looks like this. You have the red cloth with all the ribbons the ribbons have gone inside. The ribbons are in between the red cloth and the velvet fusing. So this is the back side. And of course, the front side is a grand cover for your fretboard. 
what we have shown just now is just our idea. You can go ahead and improvise on it. And if possible, share it in our comment section. This could be a great gift to any of your friends or relatives who play the Saraswati Veena. Do share and subscribe to our channel.